Well, I think there is a lot of information now on the temporal pathogenesis. That's something I've worked on for many, many years. In Down syndrome, for example, where people have a third copy of chromosome 21 and the amyloid precursor protein gene is encoded on chromosome 21. So people with Down syndrome all have about one and a half times as much amyloid precursor protein and more beta amyloid production. They also have another 239 genes on chromosome 21. So they have uh, duplication of a lot of different uh, genes. But it's known that in those individuals, they are at increased risk for Alzheimer's disease and that people with Down syndrome develop plaques. Typically, they're thought to have plaques and tangles by their 40s. In my work in the 1990s, we saw plaques in some cases as early as uh, 12 years of age. I think now with much better lifestyle interventions, better education, better diet, you know, better socialization, people are, you know, living and working in the community, not often an institution as they were in the 50s and 60s, at least in the U.S. Um, I think hopefully we're staving off some of the disease pathogenesis for Alzheimer's disease. However, it's still very clear that people with Down syndrome are at very, very high risk of developing Alzheimer's disease. And the longer these individuals live, the more likely it is that they're going to develop Alzheimer's at a much earlier age than people without Down syndrome, for example. Uh, so to that end, there are a number of clinical trials that were just discussed at a session this morning, a featured research symposium that was headed by Bill Mobley, William Mobley, uh, from UCSD and Elizabeth Fisher from London. Um, and one of the speakers there, Mike Raffi, who's from UCSD also, showed that in Down syndrome, a lot of the biomarkers, so again, PET scans uh, and cognitive testing, match what's seen in Alzheimer's disease in terms of you know, the changes in amyloid coming before changes in tau. So there's this temporal sequence of events, and that will help in terms of knowing what to treat at what time in the disease course. Um, so right now there are two studies underway. One is with Skylo and Ozitol, uh, and another one is with an active vaccine that is meant to, against beta amyloid, that's meant to have the body generate antibodies uh, that would then bind to beta amyloid and prevent it from being deposited into plaques or help clear those plaques that are already established. So those studies are still underway. We don't have any kind of results yet from those studies, but I think it's very exciting because there are six million or more people with Down syndrome in the world and those individuals have not actually been participants in any of the Alzheimer's clinical trials up until now. So this is really, a, I think, a, a really positive change that we've started actually trying to help this particular group of people.